you remember the ice bucket challenge where people would tip a bucket of ice water over themselves? Why would people do such a crazy thing? This is Blake doing the ice bucket challenge for Psych 1030. I nominate Virginia Slaughter and John Zornick. Oh. <laughs> Why would anyone do this crazy thing? Well, we can be persuaded by the behaviours and attitudes of other people. We often use the beliefs, attitudes and actions of others as a basis of comparison to evaluate the correctness of our own beliefs, attitudes and actions. In the ice bucket challenge, people all around the world felt the pressure to copy the behaviour of those before them for a good cause. And we saw something similar with planking, but for that, there wasn't a good cause to justify the crazy behaviour. Cialdini and colleagues found that whether people littered or not at an amusement park was influenced by whether other people had previously left litter in the area or not. And here's one you can try. Milgram and colleagues found that other people will start staring up at the sky if a small group of people are already doing that. So, grab some friends and see if you can influence people to look into the empty sky. So why do we do this? Well, Festinger's social comparison theory tells us that people have a constant drive to evaluate themselves. If possible, people will prefer to use objective cues to make these evaluations, but we're not always able to do this. In that case, we'll rely on social comparison instead by looking at what those similar to us are thinking and doing. This is called the principle of social validation. This is the third of the six principles of influence that Cialdini identified. Because of this, we should be more willing to comply with a request for behaviour if it's consistent with what others are thinking or doing. This is why bartenders and waiters salt tip jars with cash at the start of the night. Church ushers sometimes prime collection baskets. Advertisers tell us that a product is top selling or indicate that many thousands of copies are already sold. And institutions spend a considerable time listing the individual people who have already donated money to them. The technique that makes use of social validation is called the list technique. And it works by asking for a request only after the target person has been shown a list of others who have already agreed to the same request. In a study by Rangen in 1982, students or homeowners were asked to donate blood or money to a charitable cause. Those initially shown a list of others who had already agreed to the request were significantly more likely to comply themselves. In fact, the longer the list was, the greater effect on the agreement rate. This effect works partly through pressures of conformity. We tend to go along with what other people are doing either because we're not sure what the appropriate behaviour is or because we don't want to stand out from the group.